Good morning. This video is a discussion about this special mandolin I'm working on. It's a concept build mandolin that revolves around the grizzly bear animal. So it's been in the works for a while. Um, it's been taking a lot of brainstorming, a lot of finding the right tone wood. So I figured I'd use this video as an opportunity to discuss the plan moving forward. I have all the major components almost finished, so it's a matter of just assembling. Um, but one of the biggest challenges this build presents is the client wants the headstock to have um, a carving of a grizzly bear uh, face and profile in the headstock. So um, that's something that I don't want to attach the neck, mess up carving, have to take the neck off. So quick overview of bunch of clamps just fell. Uh, gravity is intact right now, if you're not. Um, so basically, it's a grizzly bear themed mandolin. All the tone woods used are keeping in mind the theme of grizzly bears, where they live, and their environment. So um, you know, starting with the soundboard, it's close to being, you know, final profiled. But we chose Sitka spruce because Sitka up in Alaska, and that's where grizzlies are. And then the Sitka spruce also has some bear claw figure. I don't know if you can really see all of it. There's a little bit right there. It'll come out more once, once it's final carved, but there's a lot of cool figure. And then we're also going to do sound ports um, of grizzly uh, paw prints like they're in the sand or the mud. So one right here and here, I believe. I did draw these uh, lines just to show me where the tone bars are on the inside because you don't want to mess up the tone bars with the sound ports. So the inside lining is also the Sitka spruce and that was extra material from the soundboard, so it's all the same, which I always think is, is kind of neat to do. The rim is a really crazy marbled, um, figured type of walnut, and that matches the, the backboard. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. And the idea with the backboard is to have the backboard mimic um, the profile in the back of a grizzly bear. Like if you're looking at it from a bird's eye view or from behind, kind of the, that arched spine and shoulder. So this is gonna be, I kind of felt like the grain pattern kind of rolls off the book match in a kind of grizzly back kind of arched way. And it'll be even a little more pronounced once the final recurve is established. When I milled the backboard down, <clears throat> I made sure to have it so that the, the grain on the edge would line up with the sides because the side materials I milled basically right from, the side material is basically right along the edge of the backboard. So it should basically just kind of fold into each other and kind of look like this nice flowing grizzly back, grizzly bear uh, fur kind of flow um, from the backboard to the sides. Um, so that's kind of the, the loose concept. Again, it looks really pretty crazy. That's just with a wash coat of shellac on the inside, but you'll kind of get an idea. Also chose this piece of material because the color tones really seem to speak to me as far as um, grizzly bear color tones and the color tones up in Alaska. So that's the body concept. Um, it's gonna be an ebony fingerboard with, uh, I think we decided on some grizzly bear paw prints. Um, I think it'd be cool to do like an amber type color um, so we'll see if we can do that. 
The neck is walnut, just quarter sawn walnut. I think it's good to have like a solid piece of wood, nothing too figured since you don't want to twist and everything. So we have a double action truss rod. Um, as you can see, the neck is fit in. Backboard will go on. And then we're going to use these pretty incredible Rubner tuners. These are, I think, with the rosewood knobs. Um, again, the colors, I think, match perfectly for this concept. So what I'm going to do today and tomorrow is really work on the headstock, trying to visualize more. How can I have the tuning machines flow in a way that I can also carve a grizzly bear face into the headstock? So it's a lot of mental gymnastics to try to make this work, but I'm determined to make it happen. Um, it's going to be a walnut headstock veneer. And again, I want to kind of find a piece of walnut, probably book match that would maybe have the grain kind of match that of a grizzly bear. Like if you're looking at grizzly bear head on, like how would the fur be flowing from the eyes, the nose, the mouth and the ears. And then is there a piece of walnut that could also, um, complement that appearance. So, um, trying to think what else. These are the main concepts. It's, it's super tough because it's like, man, like it's almost done in a lot of ways, but it's almost not done because of the, the headstock thing. So the tuners, I think will help a lot as far as visualizing the flow, the layout. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's the general concept. Um, I think it's gonna be really, fantastic mandolin once it's once it's all assembled I think, I think it's gonna sound awesome and um, I'm gonna practice probably a few mock-up grizzly bear carving things with the tuners just to make sure it goes well with the whole flow of everything um, see if any, if you have any thoughts or suggestions of how to approach carving the the headstock or ideas of how to have it flow. I'm open to any ideas or suggestions. And I think that's it. So that's kind of the, the concept build in a nutshell. It's been pretty awesome to try to weave in aspects of Alaska and grizzly bears and the environment they live in into this build. So um, it's been quite a journey, but Sometimes that's part of the process. And sometimes that's the best part of the process is the journey. So, all right, I'm gonna go overthink things some more and, uh, and get to work.